New at six tonight, these items are very rare and very old, and now they're up for auction in Sarasota. But the man who collected them, he's the real story. Dr. Roy Chapman Andrews is said to have been the inspiration behind the Indiana Jones character. And while George Lucas has never admitted that fact, Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan tells us about Dr. Andrews and his rare collection. He was an explorer, paleontologist. Dr. Roy Chapman Andrews juggled many different titles in his lifetime. Collector and uh, director of the American Museum of Natural History. And as legend would have it, the inspiration for Hollywood's Indiana Jones. He was uh, maintenance at night, he was cleaning the museum, and 11 years later, he was the director of the American Museum of Natural History. Andrew Ford with Sarasota State Auction can tell you all about this real life Indiana Jones. He recently bought Dr. Andrew's collection for six digits. Items from the uh, Song Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, several items from the Qing Dynasty. Ford and his crew went to California to retrieve truckloads of relics, Many hadn't been touched in more than 30 years. We did have that treasure hunter feel as we were going through some of the, uh, the boxes that were in warehouses and hadn't been disturbed over several decades. Dr. Andrews spent years exploring Mongolia and China. On these trips, he would bring back imperial pieces and fossils, not only for his own collecting sake, but also for many well-known museums. He traveled with a prince of Mongolia with direct ties to Genghis Khan, direct lineage of Genghis Khan, and this prince allowed him to get into royal palaces and all sorts of different uh, collections. Now they're up for auction here in Sarasota. Figure of an emperor. It dates about a thousand years ago. And Ford hopes they'll end up in the hands of collectors, hoping to carry on Dr. Andrew's legacy. These will find their way into many different institutions as well as personal collections. In Sarasota, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. And if you're interested in getting a look at the items, the auction starts Saturday at noon at Sarasota Estate Auction off Lockwood Ridge Road. There will likely have three more auctions after this one because they still have a part of the warehouse filled with all those relics.